Welcome back everyone. This is your weekly update for Saturday, July 25th, 2020. So I'm starting here in the owl barn, but we will get to all of that later. Uh, we have been very busy around here. We've planted up to 1,500 creeping flocks and over 10 varieties, all for next year. Plus we've potted up even more perennials and including the clematis, also for next year's sales. So I'm gonna head outside. I'm gonna show you some of our new summer crop items that have been brought out. And I'm gonna talk about igloo mums again. So I came up here to the front sales yard. I'm gonna talk about something we talk about a lot. I hope you're not sick of hearing about it. But it's these igloo mums. Our second summer crop is ready. We had those little four inch pots and these are larger one and a half gallon pots. These are $7.99 each. If you buy three or more, they're only $6.99 each. So you have a really big head on them and they are starting to bud up. Uh, I posted this on Facebook. We had a lot of questions. Number one was how long do they bloom and when do they bloom? How long they bloom, it just depends on the weather. It depends on how long them flowers can last. Uh, as far as when they bloom, is up to you. You can keep pinching this plant back from spring until about mid-July. That will de delay the bloom. If you want the bloom more in earlier summer, you can just let them go and they will bloom then. And while I'm out here, I just have to show you the butterfly bush. They're looking fabulous. This is Puckster Blue and Puckster Amethyst. And this one is a pink microchip. It says it only gets 18 to 24 inches tall. And then down here we have um, on the bottom, Pugster Pink. And on the top is a newer one called Summer Skies with variegated foliage. And we've also brought up more of that summer crop. We've told everyone we'll have more items in July or August. A lot of that has come up in ornamental trees and shrubs, including these awesome dappled willow shrubs behind me. It is a great choice for wet areas, for full sun, and a place where you need something to get very big. And then I found these really pretty uh, Rose of Sharon trees. This variety behind me is called Minerva. We also have one called Aphrodite, which is slightly like this color, but a little bit more pink. These are a great way to add a summer color into the garden. I also want to tell you about a newer spirea called Candy Corn. You guys have been calling all spring. Hey, is it ready? Hey, is it ready? Guess what? It's ready. This is a newer spirea variety from Proven Winners. It does resemble a little candy corn. So we cut this back so you can uh, usually you can see this red new foliage. Then this red foliage will turn kind of like a pineapple yellow. Uh, hence candy corn. Uh, so that usually happens in the spring and then as the summer progresses you get that yellowish color. Then early early summer you get purple flowers as well. So it's an all-around season great plant for the landscape. And on my way back to the owl barn I thought I'd stop and show you our pollinator garden where just yesterday we found our first monarch butterfly on this Miss Molly butterfly bush. Hopefully soon we'll have some caterpillars that can munch on that milkweed we planted for them. So I made it back to the owl barn and the big news of this week is not just any sweet corn, not just Ohio sweet corn, but Norton grown Cyberling Farm sweet corn. It is here. They first started picking on Thursday. Uh, we'll have fresh stock again today. It is only $6 a dozen, which compared to the prices it has been uh, from other Ohio growers, that is a great price. It has been wonderful. Our uh, landscape designer, Colin, rushed down as soon as he knew we got it, just grabbed it, peeled it off, and ate it raw. He was so excited. Speaking of corn, I wanted to talk about some delicious caramel corn. Now this is the real deal. This is from a company called Kelbrand. They are over in Akron on Waterloo Road. They use local peanuts and popcorn and then they produce it and then we're gonna sell it here at the market. So local, helping local. I'm telling you this stuff is delicious. You gotta try it out. Um, this is $2.79 for this nice large bag. So we got some more berries in stock. We have Ohio blackberries that are delicious. And these blueberries are from Paw Paw, Michigan. They are delicious. When they came in yesterday, I tried them. It almost tasted like jam. They were so sweet, so fresh. You've got to try them out. Uh, we also have a lot of fresh veggies. We have uh, 
zucchini and squash also from Cyberlink Farm. So no matter if you shop from us or from them, you are helping support local business and local farms. Uh, we have the potatoes, the onions, apples, peaches still, plums, pears, and great, they've been great, Ohio tomatoes. So stop in and see us. I appreciate you watching this week. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.